More than 50 pounds of unknown explosive material taken from a South Omaha home. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Brandi Peterson. Douglas County authorities raided the home looking for drugs. They found meth and box after box filled with dangerous powders and pounds of commercial fireworks. Tonight, only on 7, investigators show us everything they found. KATV News Watch Evans' Christina Engdahl is live with our big story at 6. Christina? And Rob, deputies arrested a man on meth charges after a raid at this home last week. Now, he is not believed to be connected to those explosive materials. But I talked to another man who says he also lives here, and he says they're actually his. But the Omaha Bomb Squad tells me the other day that those powders and chemicals that they found here put the entire neighborhood at risk. This was 25 pounds alone of material. Material that Sergeant Matt Manhart says in the wrong hands could do a lot of damage. Everything I'm bringing out is, is explosives. Manhart is with Omaha Police uh, Department's bomb response team, correct. and he says he helped it's carefully wrong. remove all the containers you see here from an Omaha home. 27 containers of unknown uh, powders, uh, unknown material, taken out of the residence. Um, out of that, we tested. And we had over 52 pounds of energetic material. And he says all 52 pounds of it is illegal and dangerous. Most of it is a mystery powder, but a couple of the containers have labels. Sit there and be labeled as says crackling moonstar. Um, again, that that's a common phrase used in a, in a fireworks uh, illegal fireworks manufacturing. Manhart says they won't know what exactly is in here until they can get it to the state lab for testing. He says they can only use training to guess what's inside. We can take a look at how dark the powders are, and, and then again we look at how fine the powder may be versus how granular the powder may be. But Manhart says tests they did the night they seized all this material proved it is in fact explosive, even unstable. Say, for example, uh, through a static electricity charge or something like that, set this material off and have an accident. Manhart tells us that's why they needed to get all 27 containers and this box of commercial fireworks out of the home. He says the entire neighborhood's safety depended on it. All I know is I take a look at what kind of damage this stuff could cause um, in the wrong hands. And right there, now, there are no charges filed against the suspected owner of those explosive materials. Investigators say they'll need to get all the results back from the state in order to know which charges they need to pursue, but there's no time frame on that as of right now. And also, no one at the house wanted to talk to us today. Back to you. All right, Christina Engdahl reporting live. Thanks.